What's good, YouTube and Life Gators? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sexy as hell host, and I will be introducing y'all to my former stripper name during this video. Trying to bring you guys a life gaining, money saving, all while we're playing Wolfenstein 2 demo. The game is coming out real soon. Go get this one if you're a gamer. For those of you that are here for the information, enjoy the wonderful background of this game because it's full of stuff. And another point, I'm not a first person guy, so don't laugh at how terrible my shooting is going to be. Just throw that out there. Okay, so we're talking about timeshares, ladies and gentlemen. People will try to sell you on the fact that they are an investment. That is a complete fabrication of the truth. And if you've already got one, damn it, I hate to tell you the truth, but you're stuck. So let me tell you a little story about young me back in my day when I was trying to impress the ladies. You know, somebody gave me this little card where you pay $99. You can go and visit this place in Orlando for um, three days and two nights or something like that. But it was a pitch for a timeshare. And you know, me being the macking guy was, I found me a little sweetie pie. I took it down there. And they razzled and dazzled me right out of my underwear. And I got stuck with a timeshare that was $5,000. And if you pay the minimum, it went to $25,000. Number one, my young people watching this, do not buy a timeshare for that very reason. If you pay the minimums on it, you're going to wind up paying quadruple what the timeshare costs. But first and foremost, you don't need to buy the timeshare because what you pay for the timeshare, even if you pay the minimum, $5,000, you could wind up just saving up about a grand. Take that money and that'll be your round trip pretty much anywhere you want to go continental United States. Number two, if you do get the timeshare and you keep it and you enjoy it, you have no control over them raising maintenance and tax fees every year. So the timeshare I bought in 2007, maintenance and taxes was $395. Here it is, 2017, they just sent my ass a bill for $1,000. I mean, like, what the hell, man? Jeez. You do not need a timeshare, ladies and gentlemen. And so what I thought I was doing when they suck at me, I thought I was big balling, shot calling in front of my sweetie pie I took down there. And while we was in the timeshare, she got me so messed up, I introduced her to my stripper name which is Mr. Go Too Deep. That's my stripper name for those of y'all that happen to give a you know what. My stripper name is Mr. N Too Deep and I am definitely N Too Deep on this timeshare. So let's say you got one. What do you do to get rid of it? There's all these companies that swear they can get the timeshare off your hands and I'm here to tell you all, those are pure T scams and lies lies i tell you all lies the only way you can get rid of a timeshare traditionally is to give it to someone who's going to sign over and take it you can try giving it to a nonprofit organization but now some timeshare organizations don't even allow you to do that because they're not going to get their revenue back on some of those maintenance and fees because it's a nonprofit organization taking it over I would have to say the number one strategy I've used to get one, get rid of one of the timeshares I had would be when you go to your timeshare, make sure you use it, go down there one weekend, and when you see all those people attempting to buy a new timeshare, you pull them to the side and say, hey, my brother from another, and I don't care if they black or white or what, they still going to be your brother from another on this day because you want to get rid of this timeshare. You say, hey, my brother from another, why spend all this money? buying this timeshare when i got one that i give you for five hundred dollars and they're gonna look at you like man what's wrong with you you crazy and you just tell them the honest truth you've enjoyed it you've had your luxury out of it you don't want to deal with the maintenance fees that come each month and tell them you'll give it to them for five hundred dollars and if you really want to get rid of it bad enough your maintenance fees are too high you just give it to them they might think it's too good to be true but you can sign that paperwork, they can take it, and all they have to do is deal with the maintenance and fees. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not worth you getting that piece of trash timeshare and you have no control over how they raise the fees year to year. 
there has not been a year I've had this timeshare and they haven't raised the fees. So in all honesty, a timeshare is definitely not an investment. Don't let anyone talk you into thinking that it's an investment. Next, a timeshare is something you can't get rid of really unless you pass it along, you kick the bucket, or you sign it over to someone. Do not get taken for a ride by those companies that promise you, I'll help you get rid of your timeshare. I'm a legal team can get rid of your timeshare. It is all bullshit. And don't you sit in it and rub it on your face. I'm trying to help y'all save this money. This channel is about bringing together all the parts of life to give you an ultimate life gain. That goes so much further beyond streaming entertainment because the way you accumulate wealth, if you spend below your means, avoid scams and rip off and you invest in your future. And that's what this channel is all about. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself a life game. Leave me a comment below. If you own a timeshare or you've had one, have you been to one of those timeshare little seminar where they try to get you to buy a timeshare? Tell me how you said no, or if you bought one, and if you're trying to get rid of it, try my strategy. And let me know what you think about this demo. This is Wolfenstein 2 Colossus coming out soon. Y'all get to see me doing my little first person thing, as terrible as it may be. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. enjoy the content on my channel please take your cursor click the subscribe button if you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video click the little bell and if you want to connect with me on Facebook you can click this button if you want to connect with me on my other social media I got a button for you here a button for you here and if you're one of those people that want to make a donation donations can be made through my patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains you can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by LifeGain.